All right, going to pick up right where I left off last weekend. I got everything kind of stowed away there. Had a little rain last night, so I'm getting kind of a late start today. But uh, I got some lumber, and I'm going to get these two sidewalls framed in. Hopefully, I'll get the roof framed up, and I've got some tin to go up there. And we're going to try to get this thing as complete as we can this weekend because winter's coming. And uh, I'd like to have a nice place to shoot out of the snow and the rain and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get at it. There's wall number one. Let's move on to wall number two. top of the second wall. The second wall is framed up and in. Um, I am going to do the back wall, but I'm going to leave like a uh, eight foot opening in it on two little short uh, two foot sidewalls on it. But right now I got to get over here and get this stuff trimmed up so I can get that front facade on there. Then I can start getting the uh, rafters on here, the ridge board, the whole nine yards, and get some tan over this thing so uh, everything doesn't get wet. Let's get to that too. Well, I tell you what, it may be fall out here. It's uh, like the end of September, but uh, man, is it toasty. I gotta take a break. It's hot up there in the sun. All right, it is very hot out here this afternoon. I got two dead batteries, so I'm gonna take them up, charge them, take my little break, get out of the heat, and uh, cool off a little bit and get back at it. All right, so I went back inside, get my batteries recharged, get the charger, get the batteries on the charger for the tools, and now it's time to get started on this roof. Uh, got a little cloud cover now, which is kind of nice because it uh, it's cooled down a lot. Anyways, it's onto the roof. All right, what I did was I took a board, a two by four, and I clamped it up on the uh, top of the facade part up there. I established my angle I wanted. I know I got six foot on the run, two foot on the rise. Should give me, what, a four inch pitch, something like that. Um, anyways, put my board up there, clamped it, screwed it, and then uh, uh, took my speed square and used it to establish a vertical line. Took my first board, made a template from it, marked it top, uh, cut the angles on it, and used it as a pattern to cut out all the rest of them. As long as I go from that same one, I should be okay. At least nobody should notice anyways. But anyways, I'm going to get them all cut up and get them put up there. All right, I've got them all cut out. I'm going to get them stacked up here. And I do hear little rumbles of thunder in the distance. Uh, hopefully it stays just a little south and I'll be able to still uh, keep on going. All right, you can see I got some of the rafters up up there. Uh, I got my ridge board up. I got a temporary pole right there in the middle holding everything up. Um, the rain is holding off so far. It's still rumbling, but it's kind of moved right around me. It is a lot nicer out here. It's a lot cooler. I got to cut out a couple more pieces, trim those posts off up there and over there. And then I should be able to put my sheeting up there and then put my tan over top of that. 
All right, guys, that's enough fun for one day. I'm going to get these batteries on the charger and uh, get ready to do this again tomorrow. Um, hopefully, you enjoy taking a look at the building of the shooting saloon. Uh, I will get around to making some more gun videos. It's just uh, running out of weather, good weather for this year. So um, I only got the weekends to work on things. So I'm going to try to get a couple gun videos in uh, maybe before I finish the shooting saloon. But if you could, keep watching the channel and uh, check out the progress of the saloon. And uh, I will get some more gun videos up. And if you could, hit this button up here to subscribe. Hit this button right here to check out some more of my videos. And thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.